In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how the lower time frame is destroying your trading results, how it's affecting your trading results negatively, and I'm going to be talking about how to rectify this, how you can still use the lower time frames, but how to use it in alignment with the higher time frame so you can be more accurate and so you don't continue to get stopped out and, and lose. So if you get value from this video, you enjoy this type of content, please do like, comment and subscribe. Um, get in touch. My Instagram's down below if you want to ask me any other questions or, or comment and I'll get back to you in the video. So yeah, let's get into it. So... Firstly, you have to ask yourself, what is the purpose of the lower time frames? What are the purpose of entering on the lower time frames? Why, why would we look to enter? And obviously the reason why I, I like to enter on the lower time frames, I'm sure a lot of you will as well, is it increased risk reward on the singular positions because you can have better entries, tighter stop losses. Um, so as you can see from this example, it, this is a two minute time frame. If you can find an exact price and instead of waiting for the hourly candle to close or the four hourly candle to close, you can trade this momentum while the momentum's occurring. But the issue is, is with lower time frames, you can get stopped out more frequently. So this is the reality of what people want to happen. They post on Instagram, they see, oh, I made a big seven to one risk reward or eight to one. I would have passed my prop firm funding or whatever it may be, or I would have made eight times my money. But the reality is, is this keeps happening over and over. You enter, stopped out, enter, stopped out. And the reason why I think that is, is because people are solely focused on the lower time frames. They're not looking at the overall picture. You know, this could be an upward trend, but it could be a downward trend on the hourly, four hourly, daily. So if you're just solely trading the one hour, uh, the two minute time frame or the 10 minute time frame or the one minute time frame, the, the micro lower time frames, if you're solely trading that, you could have your direction completely wrong. So I understand and I, I do it as well. The purpose of the lower time frame and the reason why I like to enter on the lower time frames is to increase my risk reward to get a better price. But you just have to be careful that you're not solely focusing on your entry and not looking at the bigger picture. So it's important that you find high, the higher time frame perspective. Um, you need to look at what the higher time frames are telling you. Sometimes, like I said before, you could be in a bullish trend on the two minute, but a bearish trend on all the other higher time frames, which is going to drive the market. You need to understand where the momentum's heading on the higher time frames first. And then once you've got that overall picture, look to use the lower time frames in alignment. So use the two time frames together. Because as you can see from for this example, if we go to about here and we look at the daily going up, 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 we've had bullish days, one, two, three clear bullish days. On this 10 minute, there were multiple bearish entries. So if you weren't looking at this, not to say that you can't make money trading one time frame. All I'm saying is when you look at the daily as well, or you look at the higher time frames in alignment with the lower time frames, you can avoid traps. So obviously everyone's strategy is going to be different. Some people can profit from trading just one time frame. But for, for me and from personal experience, I like to use both because like I said, if you look at this, one, two, three days of solidly going up. Bullish days, bullish momentum, clearly in an upward trend. Yes, there are multiple times where the trend changed on the on the, the 10 minute time frame where we broke down lower low, could be looking for the lower high. You know, is the momentum going to change now? And each time, one, two, three times you get stopped out. And that happens more often than not because, you're, again, like I said, you're not looking at the higher time frame perspective. What The hourly is bullish, the four hourly is bullish, the daily is clearly bullish because we've had a, a bullish day. So, you need to use the bo both of those time frames in alignment. Also, wait for the correct times to trade. So I'll touch on that more um, later on in the video, but it's important to look at when the momentum's coming into the market so you avoid getting stopped out before the, the order flow happens. So like I just said, combine both time frames together. This video isn't about not using the lower time frames. I think the lower time frames are very, very effective and can be very important. But... You need to use the higher time frame narrative, understand what's happening. And once you're in the same direction as the higher time frames, whether the hourly is bullish or the daily is bullish or the four hourly is bullish, then look for the same direction on the lower time frames. So I'm aware of where we are in the market. Um, so look, as you can see from this example, this was a nice trade that I took. We were going down quite clearly on the so the one hour time frame. I like that time frame a lot. And when I'm entering on the lower time frames, like the two minute, 
I mainly focus on what the one hour time frame is saying. So if we're in a bearish trend, I'm going to be looking for bearish opportunities on the on the two minute. If we're in a bullish trend, I'm going to go with the flow and go with that momentum. So as you can see, we'd be going down, making lower lows, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. We then sort of consolidated. We broke out subtly higher high. So I'm aware at this point the trend might be changing. We then pulled back. We're just ranging. But then what I like, this was during London session. We broke out, made a higher high. So the trend's changed to bullish. We've now pulled back to an area that I personally like for the way I, the style that I, I trade. And now we're looking for longs, looking for buys on the two minute because we're in an upward trend on this one hour time frame. We've broken out high, 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 low. We're looking for the continuation to the upside. Now, like I said earlier about why time, uh, why trading at the correct times is important is this something i learned more recently i like to trade when london's open so at eight o'clock uk time i like to then look for trades because more often than not i would look for an and let's say here there could have been an entry down here or here this was pre-london we broke out the trends up now on the two minute we pull back i could have entered here got a better risk reward and made more however I like to wait till London, the market opens because more often than not, and sometimes this happens, is if I start entering trades before London, when London opens, you get stopped out first, drives down back to the prior low or prior high, depending on what, what direction you're trading in, and then it continues into the, into the direction. So I wanted to wait, and this was about London up here when it opened. So I thought, okay, London's open now. Wait for the pullback because we're making high highs and high lows on the one hour, high highs and high lows on the two minute now. And then we got the bearish, uh, bullish momentum come in and we took the trade. So that's a prime example of using the higher time frame and lower time frame in alignment. If I just looked at this lower time frame, I could have got multiple entries in multiple directions, but because I've used the higher time frame as well, you can be more accurate. You're never gonna win 100% of the time, but it can increase your strike rate, increase your chances. Of, of, of having a winning trade. So to conclude, I like to use the lower time frame for my entry. It gives me a better risk reward and you can be you can get more accurate entries, better price. However, be careful not to hold trades too long because there's been many times where I'd enter here, it would go up and then it would just completely stop me out within another you know, 15, 20 minutes. So you've got to be very careful when you enter a trade that you're not pushing the targets too far because as quick as you can be right, you can equally be wrong. Um, only trade lower time frames with a higher time frame narrative to increase the strike rate. Like I just said about this example, we're clearly in a bullish trend now, so I'm looking for bullish momentum on the two minute or 10 minute, depending on what time frame you trade. But it doesn't matter specifically what time frame you trade, it just use, the, use that in alignment. And um, if you trade lower time frames, if you try, yeah, if you trade solely the lower time frame, and don't look at anything else, it can have conflict in directions. You could have a bullish one hour, a bearish two minute, a bearish two minute, a bearish 10 minute, a bullish one hour. So you could be entering trades and not knowing actually the overall direction is bullish and you could be selling or you could be the overall direction could be bearish and you're buying. So use both in alignment. Um, so yeah, I'd say still use the lower time frames. Don't, this video isn't about not using them, but just be careful because like I say, it's fast pace. If you're entering on lower time frames, things can happen extremely quick. You've got to be at the desk. You've got to be there ready to trade, ready to make quick decisions as opposed to trading swing, like swing trading solely off the hourly, solely off the four hourly. It's a lot of a, a lot more of a slower process. But if you're going to use the lower time frames, just make sure that you're combining higher time frame analysis and getting the overall market direction along with that because otherwise... You're, you're zooming in too too far and not looking not zooming out and looking at what's happening. So yeah, I hope you guys got value from this video and you enjoy this type of content. If you do, please do like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. Oh, I, I appreciate the support. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.